following all the reactions of the trailer review for the new upcoming expansion pack Sims 4 for Rent, it actually seems a lot of people are feeling pretty optimistic about this new pack, at least on Twitter and on other socials. In just the other day, the Sims team tried to keep up the hype with a new preview of some Kratosim items that gives us even more insight into this game. So Sims 4 for Rent, I will say my initial reaction wasn't as enthusiastic, I will say, as a lot of the community. In fact, a lot of people thought I was being pretty negative. Let me be clear here, I do think this pack has potential, but of course I am still going to be honest with you and give you my own critique too, and that disclaimer out of the way, let's look at this new preview. Now this preview was only a 26 second clip, and I do remember them doing this to hype up high school years. Now I will argue that high school years did not have a long standing legacy of love, we can talk about that later, but I do think that having smaller clip previews is a smart way to keep the interest up while we're waiting for potentially hopefully a gameplay trailer and subsequent announcements. This is mostly focused I would say on Kratosim, but it went so fast I actually took screenshots and I think there's some interesting things to take note of here. So first off, they have shown this animation many times and this seems to be potentially a greeting to other sims. You can let me know in the comments below if you think I'm correct with that. But we also see a little bit of the world. Now this does appear to be the main district area area, and I don't know how much of this is walkable, we talked about this in my trailer reaction, but of course the note here is the cast items. We already noticed this masculine hairstyle, some of you had different opinions on this, I said I feel like we have a lot of masculine hairstyles that look just like this, while other people said they actually really appreciate it. This hairstyle meanwhile appears to have an accessory attached to it, and what I always say is I think this is really awesome when they do this, but I do hope in the next next Sims game, we are able to pick out the colors for individual accessories. Also, we have a bracelet here, and then, like I said in my past reaction, it looks like a more cropped top. Now, they did mention when they were discussing this pack that Sims 4 for Rent is going to combine both modern and traditional clothing, and this is something they also mentioned for Snowy Escape. My humble opinion, I actually think it's really clever. I think it's great to have both traditional and contemporary clothing, as well as build items. Now this is a closer look of that top and I do think the detailing is really nice here. I do like the cutout in the front and I think in general whether or not I'm going to potentially use this cast item a lot if I were to buy Sims 4 for rent, I always appreciate clothing details. And I think that the team that does handle both cast and build by tends to be, in my humble opinion, highly talented. That doesn't mean I always like every single decision made, but I do think, generally speaking, they do execute these items well. Next up, I would guess this is a full body outfit. It very much looks like a full body outfit because you have to consider this probably would not be a separate top. I would assume if it was separate, it would cause glitching issues, etc. But I love it to be separated from the pants of course, but I just want to set that expectation. I think that the print looks pretty lovely, and I'm definitely interested to see all the different swatches that come with this. Now here, it looks like we have two separates, so we have, again, kind of a more cropped top, and then we have these pants, and it almost looks like there's a jacket, or maybe it is something else, maybe I'm not looking this correctly, tied around it. These pants are very much, as I used to call them, capri length, and they do have kind of a more relaxed fit to them. And honestly, I don't think I would use this personally very often, but I just in general enjoy seeing variety in casts, and I think they're a nice addition. Next up, we have what I would say is an athletic outfit. And look, I think this is going to be useful for people. I got to admit, I like the top quite a bit better than the shorts. I feel like the shorts, there's something just a little bit off about them. I'm not sure what it is. I feel like maybe the texture but again, it would be hard to tell until I actually see this in live mode. This is a hastily taken screenshot. I think I like the top because I think the detail of the cutout again and the folding here is very interesting and I like the layering effect, but the shorts I'm just not honestly as big of a fan of, but they do go nicely together. And I will also note, I haven't been paying attention to the shoes, but it does appear we're going to get some new shoes with this pack and I know that is always appreciated. Now this again appears to me 
to be a full body outfit. I would guess that these leggings maybe even go with this based upon how this dress is cut out, just a guess. And we do have that layering effect too. For this one, I'm not quite as sold on, but I definitely would be interested to see more swatches. I think swatches make a world of a difference when you're judging cast items. And I don't know, this one doesn't necessarily excite me, but it does seem serviceable. Now I would argue potentially this is the most interesting create -a -sim item I've seen yet for Sims 4 for rent. And definitely we've got some play with texture and cutouts, and we definitely have a pattern that I find very interesting. Now I do know we have a couple tops that do have that kind of cold shoulder cutout. I don't know the technical term. And also that kind of bell sleeve and even that high slit. So to me, this reminds me of different cast items we have in game currently, but kind of taken and put together. So I'm not saying it's an exact replica whatsoever. I think it's enough of a new thing. You can get use out of it, but I do find it interesting. I mean, if you're looking at this, we've got the cold shorter cutout. We've got a deep V-neck. We've got a cutout in the abdomen area, and then we've got a high slit too. I do think that the Sim is absolutely rocking it. I personally, I probably could never rock anything like this. I would have so much self-confidence issues. I think it's a very interesting design and interesting dress. Now, it's no secret that Sims 4 is known to be a little bit weaker or a lot weaker on its masculine items. So I was interested to see this top here and also looks like some casual pants. And then, of course, a nice hat too. Now, I will say, I think that the Sim is rather attractive. I know that sounds really awkward, but I, I do find them attractive. But as for their actual outfit, I'm not sure how I feel. I like the details of the rolled sleeves, and I think it's interesting what they're doing here. I have noticed them do this a couple times. I specifically remember in my wedding stories, my favorite pack ever, of course. But this kind of, but this kind of asymmetrical look with the buttons, I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of understand, I guess, as a more casual look. Maybe I'm just getting old. Maybe it's a style that people like. Now, it's a little hard to tell, but this does appear to be a sundress of some sort. Definitely has a floral tropical theme. I think it's fine. It doesn't excite me, but it gets the job done, so to speak. I think this is a nice addition and potentially maybe one of my favorite create sim items for Sims 4 for rent. I'm not saying this is something I would use all the time, but sometimes my favorite items are more unique and I think this is actually pretty interesting. And for me, I think it's also going to be again about the swatches. Even though I usually like blue, I just have a feeling I might actually like some of the more bold and colorful swatches for this dress in particular. And it appears we're we're getting, I will just call it a bucket hat. And it's really funny for me to see these bucket hats coming to Sims 4 because bucket hats actually were pretty popular when I was growing up. They kind of went out of vogue and now it seems like people are getting them again. But that's just how fashion goes. Now, I do think this is a new hair right here and I will say it's different. It's interesting. Is it my favorite? No, not really. And I don't know how quite they said. I feel like the top here kind of is giving me Sims 4 basic game vibes. Am I being too harsh? Quite possibly. But I will say I don't feel that way about all the hairs in this pack and I think some of them I'm actually going to really like. So this is just one hair I'm a little less enthusiastic about. I would say for example going back to this hair I think I like this hair a lot. The commentary on the accessories aside. I also think this hair right here if it's a different hair I like that as well. And there was a hair in the trailer that was kind of an ombre and depending on the swatches I think I would like that too. So I feel like so far I I like the majority of the hairs versus not liking them. That doesn't mean I'm enthusiastic about every single one, but I think they're decent. Now this I absolutely love and this also is potentially one of my favorite cast items, a tattoo. And I have a feeling the Sims team is going to tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind this tattoo. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to hear that their collaborator actually helped them come up with this idea or someone else. The detail on this is absolutely amazing. I really hope we can know what the meaning of this is. I just am ignorant on this case, but I think this is potentially the most impressive cast item in the entire pack that I've seen so far for Sims 4 for rent. And it also makes me really interested and excited to see if we could potentially get even more skin details. Again, this is definitely not something I'm going to use on every single Sim or very often if I were to buy this expansion pack. But do I think it's really awesome? Yes. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. I like versatile and usable items, but I also love it when they surprise me and they put in extra passion 
passion, enthusiasm, and just go above and beyond. Rest assured, we have nothing like this in The Sims 4, and I am so excited to see this added. And I'll just finish up on showing you some items for some of the younger Sims. Now again, this was a 26 second clip. It's possible I missed something. I tried my best to slow it down and pause it every single little millisecond, but I think this pretty much gives us an idea of the teaser that was posted a day or so ago. So let me know what you think in the comments below. How are you thinking? Of, how are you feeling about create a sim for Sims 4 for rent? I feel like in general, I still don't know how I feel about it. I think there's some items that I definitely like and some items I'm kind of meh about. But honestly, for me, an expansion pack, the most important thing is gameplay. I definitely want to see all the items for especially for kids and toddlers, etc. And again, hopefully more skin details. I do think that the swatches are going to up my enthusiasm overall for the Kratosim. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, take care and have a nice day.